Patrick, um, have you by any chance read the um, airline definition of autopilot? Yes, uh, I have, because we talked about that term on here before, and so I, I looked up the FAA rules for it. And it doesn't allow the pilot to just uh, flip a switch and then leave the cockpit and go or play go in the back. Uh, <laughs> he, they're required to stay attentive uh, when they have that system engaged. Yep. Which I am going to take issue with you on because I saw a documentary called Airplane in which <laughs> autopilot <laughs> not only flew the plane, but I believe he also helped land it. Uh, it was it was a very engaging um, Yeah, that was spelled O T T O pilot. O auto autopilot, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Completely different. Um, I think he also smokes. But um, <laughs> So the reason I bring this up is um, the high court in Germany recently declared that Tesla is no longer allowed to use the term autopilot. They find the term to be misleading. They um, insist that um, like Patrick gave a very good textbook definition of autopilot. The, um, the pilot still stays attentive the um the autopilot in an airplane simply takes a lot of the sort of more or less mundane part of flying an airplane away from the pilot so the pilots don't get as tired um, but the pilot still has to pay attention and it is the same thing in tesla's vehicles once engaged the driver must still remain alert at all times but german law does not allow fully autonomous driving so they banned Tesla from using the term autopilot in any of their advertising. What advertising? They, well, okay, yeah, there is that, but any of their marketing. <laughs> marketing. Yeah. Marketing. And they, in, they, they also took um, objection to Tesla's website promising in July 2019 that there would be full potential for autonomous driving by the end of the year. And, um, and they said that, you know, they... They didn't meet that and calling it autopilot was misleading to some of the consumers. Um, so the court ruled against Tesla and said, you have to stop using it. Now, of course, we have to take into consideration, as we've said many times on the show, Tesla's luxury vehicles are chewing into some of Germany's luxury vehicles. Now, whether or not that swayed the courts, we may never know. But we do know that Tesla is um, currently building a factory in Germany. So you would think that Germany would be a little friendly toward Tesla. But we know that the automobile industry is pretty near and dear to their hearts. So uh, what, do you guys, what do you guys think about this? I agree with them on the missed deadline. The Charleston supercharger has been coming this year since 2016. It is still not even picked a site. Uh, <laughs> So I agree with them on that, but uh, I'd have to agree with the definition of the word autopilot and it, it's used properly. Uh, I, I, but I think you, the average consumer thinks in a car autopilot means they could just sit and the car will do everything. Why would they think that? Some have, some have done that. Some have some done and died. People have yeah. done that. Yeah. Well, and, so yeah. that accusation, the, the people that have died are people who generally knew this system very well and made mistakes. Uh, not people that got in and didn't understand it and assumed it would do something that it couldn't. But, but why didn't they call it something like intelligent driver assist or something that's, you know, because not as concrete the, the, the as the simplest autopilot. word that means that I was already in the dictionary. So they just looked in the dictionary. One word, here it is. And it's an aspirational name for where they want to go. Yeah. Sure, but you know we do have the moron who died because he was playing a video game, yes. <laughs> and he hit a concrete barrier with his autopilot-enabled car. People do think when you say autopilot, they mean, oh, I just flipped the switch. And but but they have no forward. reason to think that. On all the marketing materials, it does say what it does, and then when you go to turn it on for the very first activation, like you have to go into the menu. No, 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 stop, and then you, stop. Casey, that's, that's, that's a check checkbox. No, that's no wrong. One reads, no, okay? no one reads the license agreement. Elon Musk has been on several national TV shows doing this while the car drives. 
right? right. To moment, demonstrate yeah. the capability, not yeah. to right. show oh, that yeah. how right. you should use it. I mean, you can do Why would in irresponsible people get the idea seconds. that autopilot was an autopilot? How irresponsible of them. But but at the same time, he says wait, this wait. is a prototype full self-driving car as well. But, yeah, but back you, to the point. When, to when start you, remembering people are morons. People are <laughs> morons. So, so again, to get it to ever be able to get into this mode, you have to go into the settings. You have to get past the legal screen. And then every time you turn it on after that, when you turn on the, the switch, it says, hold the damn wheel. And if you stop holding the wheel, it thinks you've had a heart attack and it stops in the lane and turns off the blinkers and unlocks the door so that you can get medical assistance in the lane. So uh, you're kind of noticeable. And as far as, and as, how far many people as, as far as read stupid, that legal agreement, as far as stupid people and they're going to uh, not be able to figure it out. Those people are currently driving cars and putting on makeup and eating their cereal and doing everything else in the car, playing solitaire. It's, it's, you can't fix stupid. These people are going to off themselves in another manner if they're not doing it this way.